Hello, training group. Um, here we've got the, the Zuko backpack large and black here. Uh, as you can see, it's got the wheels. Uh, this is how it came stock from Zuko, so I got the handle on. Not even at its highest position. I mean, it could be higher or lower, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Of course, we'll take those cards. So, anyway, um, we, there was some discussion in a thread that this will be posted up into. Uh, about the DAA medium backpack and this large Zuka backpack cart. Uh, this is my personal bag. I just got the bag. This is not the DAA medium bag. Its dimensions are almost identical other than how compartments are laid out. There was a thread where I actually put um, this video in about just the bag, Talon Strong. It comes from Double Alpha as well, but as you can see, it kind of fits in there snug. You can easily get into most of the compartments from this from it with the seat up with the seat down I should say with the seat down you can't really get into the bag but with the seat up you can you unzip it uh, push it out of the way and then you, you can get into here get whatever you need out of this decent sized compartment uh, and just, just tuck it back and zip it if I didn't have all my crap on the outside like a brass bag RO cards you know speaker that wouldn't be too much of an issue I did not have to empty this bag though to get it in the cart. Even though some people have said that you've had to empty like the double alpha medium bag into the cart um, to get it in the cart. All I had to do was empty. All I had to do really was empty out these two pouches. So there's like four things I had to take out of this side pouches right here. So yep. So I just there's some tools on this side, so no big deal. All I did was I put. The, actually, let me take the stuff out. So, in this pouch, if you watch the other video, I have a hammer, a crescent wrench, and a 100 foot tape. This is for helping set up stages at my local club and, some, and practices. So, and then there's a spare parts kit of crap down in the bag. Anyway, so to get every, to get the bag out, not too difficult. So, take it. Pretty much pick the bag up slightly. Now, I mean, obviously, the Zuka wants to move because all the weight's in the bag. So you're gonna have to find a way to position yourself to hold the cart and just kind of push it out. Not difficult at all. There we go. See, it came kind of came out. Oh, I should mention I did have the backpack strapped on the pole in the back. So that's another reason the cart came out wanted to come. So there we go bag out of the cart fairly easily and now I have a empty Zuka cart. So there we have it. Uh, easy if you wanted to take the bag and put it on your backpack or your back for some odd reason. There you have it. So guys, um, like this bag is uh, metallic, so the Talon Strong bag from Double Alpha or CED. It's pretty much identical. It doesn't come with the stuff that comes with the medium or the jumbo X, um, Ipsic bag. But uh, for $89.99 off their website, I find it to be a very good value. Um, I do say buy other crap stuff when you buy this bag or any product like this from Double Alpha. Due to the fact that this is like $35 shipped. Well, $35 shipping just for this. You know, the cheapest shipping you can from Double Alpha. If you buy a medium Double Alpha backpack, uh, buy it from the Pro Shop. I think it's probably cheaper. I don't know. I haven't... I didn't look. I had a coupon for the Double Alpha, so... When I bought this on Black Friday. Zuka I paid. I did get a discount. I think it was free shipping on the Zuka. So nothing crazy. I got this all around Christmas time. So do that information with you guys. have guys. If you have more comments, uh, leave them in the thread on training group. And we can talk more about this bag and the size of it. Um, it didn't seem very tight at all to my, my opinion. So go ahead and um, do your own research. If you have more questions, let me know. Uh, until next time, guys.